Yo, you already know who it is. It's your boy, Grimmy Baby, aka Greenmonts, man. And I'm here with Hip Hop Weekly, man. I feel so, so good to be here. You know what I mean? Shouts out to the brand, Jim Arby Squad on God. Shouts out to LS Cream Lickin'. Shouts out to, to Soul Simplicity. You know what I mean? And shouts out to Haiti, man. That's who I do it for. We here. The coach is going to be well represented. Easy. <laughs> You already know what it is, your boy DJ Waffles on the check-in, and I'm here with my guy, your guy. Yeah. Creamy baby, it's your boy Green Mouse. What's good, man? Hate to stand up. New life. <laughs> Listen, man, y'all, y'all out there, make sure y'all stay locked in for this because this one is gonna be good. So let's get to the let's get to the business, man. Let's do Tell it. everybody how you even came up with the name because I've been checking out your bio and stuff like that. Man, it's kind of what you said. The, the the name it 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 suited my personality. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? It's a it's a Creole word. It's like it it, it labels things that one would do against the grain outside mm-hmm. the norm. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, funny gestures or funny noises or just your character not being what society wants it to be. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, like, as a kid, my mom would say, I sit for a green mouse, like, stop doing that dumb... Can I cuss right. this thing? Is it- yeah, 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 stop yeah. doing that dumb shit. You right, know what I'm right, saying? Right. I couldn't because it was my personality. Like, I was class clown in high school for, like, all my years and that thing. So, it stuck with me. So, I mean... I saw it only suiting for me to have a name that goes with me. Do you find yourself going against the grain a lot? Oh, man. Sometimes to the point that when management got to take down some of my posters. I hate when they do that. <laughs> you know, they, they won't let me be me. They, they figure the world ain't ready for it just yet. But I guess in due time, in, in due time. But, I mean, going against the grain is, is like I said, it's a part of who I am. You know what I mean? I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't go down the same road. Especially when I know you can take another one. There's more than one path to where you're trying to go. Right. So um, I'm going I'm to test it. So going against the grain, speaking about going against the grain and the way that music is actually going right now, yeah. do you feel that you're going against the grain with the way that you're making music right now? Uh, Yeah, because it's like, it's all about balance. Right. You see what I'm saying? So there's nothing that can't be spoon fed to someone. You just got to package it correctly. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, shout out to the, to the, to the ones that's, that's doing the music right now. You know what I'm saying? What they doing. Kudos to them, but I'm more of a, more of a lyricist. So I want more of a message to be mm-hmm. given out when I, when I make music, but I don't want to deter you away from not hearing it because it ain't what you're used to. You feel mm-hmm. me? So shout out to my production team. Yeah, I mean, Carnage Beats, the real woke. They give me that uh, that new school sound, and I just fuse it with that with them bars. You know what I mean? Sometimes I get people that's, that's hit me up months right. later, like, you know, I finally <laughs> figured out what you said <laughs> on that verse, but right. it sounded good at the time. So, I mean, yeah, um, you don't you don't have to be a part of the wave. I got my surfboard; I could ride it. You know what mm. I mean? So that's 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 what we're doing. Who you actually grew up listening to? That's oh man, uh, X grew up listening to Fab, grew up listening to Hove, Big, Big, my favorite rapper. Mm, that's dope. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, I was heavily influenced up north. Shout out to Trick Daddy. Trick Daddy, Trick Daddy was, was something that came from the south that wasn't the norm from mm-hmm. the south. You know what I mean? Right. Shout out to Luke and them. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 big homie right there. That's Unk. You know what I'm saying? But Trick came through with. With, with stories, you know, things that we went through down in Miami in the hood, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And he he spoke on social issues and, and politics and the whole nine. So Trick was my was my Jay-Z down here. Mm. You know what I mean? So what do you, so I know that you've been at it for a while. You've been chasing this for a while. What what do you think you have to do to actually get your just do? Because, you know, if, being in the game for a nice little minute and you're trying to get to where you want to go, when do you think you're going to feel like you're at your just do point? Like, this is what I deserve because I've been, I've been working hard enough. As soon as I'm top 100. Mm-hmm. As soon as I'm top hundred, I could I could start to breathe. Right now, I'm holding my breath. I've been holding my breath. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? But it's cool because God gave me some lungs that that's going to be able to hold it until until the time comes. But I mean, it's it's just exposure. That's all we're doing. Getting the marketing. Once the marketing takes flight, everything will be good. Because when you get people you don't know, uh, I mean, it's crazy. Like it's is I can see it coming because now I can't even walk the streets without getting getting recognized. Right. You know what I'm saying? So 
it's to the point the way it's happening. So we just got to keep keep the foot on the pedal. That's all. So what should what should a person, a consumer that's about to actually buy a project, what should they be thinking if they never heard you and they actually get your CD or well not a CD because you know that shit is like yeah that's, that's <laughs> <All right. laughs> if they get a flash drive or they get an email before they even get a chance to actually know know who you are, what should they expect from that? Uh. Off of what? Just looks? Yeah, just off of them getting the music and they're about to pop it in. Well, oh, what should they you, expect from what, you? What you should expect from me is is uh, value when mm -hmm. it comes to music. Expect uh, content. Mm -hmm. You understand me? Um, I mean, don't don't get it don't get it twisted. Sometimes you know we just live to for the for the times we have fun, but uh, I'm like I said, I'm gonna mix some things that 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 have a message to be to be given that have. Mm -hmm you know, advice that, that we could give out to the youth. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Because it's, it's all about embedment. So uh, I tend to preach that in my music also. So when you get a Green Mouse record or or an album, get ready to to get different views in life. So you you got a, you got a lot of you got a lot of collabs on um, some great records that you've had. Yeah. Is it like you had uh, August? Yeah. You had Graf. You had a couple other people. Who do you really want to work with that you haven't got to? Did I have? And look, if I could get a record with X, <laughs> man, let me tell you something. If I could get a record with X, that that uh, like I could, I feel as if hey, you know, I've 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 been there. That'll be my. That'd be my my milestone that right that would have been reached because I'm a I'm gonna kill these record sales in a minute regardless I'm a I'm a murder a couple of rappers on the way up regardless but to to have a record with someone you grew up listening to someone mm -hmm. that was your idol right man that that'll make my life <laughs> so explain to explain to the world because they're probably gonna see this video shortly tell us about this Rafe record that you just dropped oh man uh. <clears throat> Rafe, the new record off of the GMR shit EP. Make sure y'all go cop that. I'm telling you, it's <laughs> worth the hype. Trust me. But yeah, that uh that record was produced by Carnage Beats. Shout out to Carnage Beats. He's also on the hook. And it was just a record that that embodied how we how we moving in the streets. You know what I'm saying? How I feel I should be moving in the streets. Like I, I feel I should be in a quarter million dollar car making moves. So that's what I did. I put myself in the fucking quarter million dollar car <laughs> <laughs> and rode around in the city and, and we do it from time to time. And in times in life you gotta reward yourself. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's 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 where the record came from. The record just came from me feeling like, hey, you know what I mean, I'm finna walk around here like like I own some shit, like I'm the boss, cause truly I am. Right. So this is gonna be a lead single off your project and what would the project name be? The uh, the project is entitled GMR shit. Mm -hmm. GMR is a uh, Scream House Records, but it's also Get Money Repeat. You know what I mean, mm -hmm. that's the life we live. That's mm -hmm. the brand. It's a cycle. You know so, I mean? so explain that to people. Like, Get Money Repeat. Get money, and then is it self-explanatory? Self-explanatory. <laughs> get money. Go get some more. You know what I mean, keep it repeating. Keep the cycle going. So, get money and repeat. Because once you get a bag, there's more bags to be got. So, don't just sit on that bag. Invest it. You know what I mean. Get more money to come back. So. Get money, repeat. That's how we see it. So speaking about get money, do you feel like you need to, you need a major push, or you rather stay independent? I know. Look, it's all with the funding. It's all on capital. Capital doesn't have to necessarily come from the majors. You know what I mean, we got some 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 people keying in on me right now. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So no. yeah, like we could we could keep it independent. I mean, shoot, nowadays we got everything at our fingers. Like the internet is is our biggest tool. I agree. You know what I'm saying? saying? So like. I reach shit. I can reach millions of people through IG on a promo. You know what I mean? Definitely. I do it all the time. I drop freestyles on Friday, killing shit, and the and the shit just spreads like like a wildfire. And they they tune in because they like the content. You know what I'm saying? So that's what it is. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm I take pride in my in my culture. You know what I mean? Shouts out to Haiti. You already know to the ICM We getting it in. So me being a new face of Haiti. I got a lot of weight on my shoulders. I, that, that that carries a whole lot of yeah, definitely. responsibility, but I'm here to take it. You know what I mean? So, 
Yeah, we 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 can we can take the independent route. I'm good with that. Speaking of hey, like, how did you even get? How did you even oh, get shoes? shoes? Let me let me, let me show <laughs> the Yeezys. These are Haitian Yeezys. The Yeezys. I'm like, how the hell? Shouts out to TMMG. <laughs> you know what I mean? At TMMG store. That's how I got him. My man. He, he manufactures uh, like uh, a whole lot of things with with Haitian culture. He puts right. it in, in in gear and fashion. Definitely. So when he when he cut um in the graph video, I'm, I was in the in the Haitian sweater that he um, that he made for me, and so when that took off, that thing hit like at least I think it's pulling up to one point five million views right now. Right. So like everyone started hitting them up. Right. Yeah, like yo, yo, yo. those are hard. Yeah, I, I, I like them. Them things. Are, <laughs> thank you. You know what? I'm gonna get you a pair. Right. You know I mean? Yeah. Well, I got see, you. I got right. you. Now listen. I'm gonna get you listen, a pair. If I go on Instagram, hey. you know I'm about to give them like 72 hours, and I'm like, bro, what's going on? <laughs> what's I ain't going my on? Sneakers. I'm like, I, I got you. you listen, know what I mean? hey, listen. I got. Listen. I brought the bottle for you. You listen, understand listen. me? So you're getting the shoes, man. If no, I say listen, something, listen, it's as good as done. I'm gonna tell you this right now. I got 16,000. I just had 16. 16.7 this morning. Listen, I got 16.7 people that I'll get to troll you if you lie to me. <laughs> I'm just going to be like, Look, I don't want the problems. Look, man, to the 16.7 of y'all chill. Look, I'm going to come through on the way. Look, I'm going to come through on the word, man. But yeah, let's go ahead and show the shoe one more time. Like, that, thing, that, thing, that thing flashy. It's kind of nice. You know what I mean? so, and, uh, speaking of entrepreneurship and how you um, yeah. show love and stuff like that, explain a little bit um, to the world about this right here. That's LS Cream Liqueur. It's a uh, in uh, in Haiti, it's a drink called Cremas. This mm-hmm. is the new age Cremas. Okay. Cremas, it, the the shelf life wasn't so Cremas with a C. Yeah, with a C. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. so the shelf life wasn't wasn't uh went went that long with the old Cremas because of the ingredients. Mm-hmm. But he went through, got into the lab. And that thing is about smooth as as I don't know what. And uh, yeah, the the life shelf on that is like I don't want to say forever. I mean, it might. I don't know. I ain't never had yeah, one. It ain't no expiration. Yeah, it ain't no, it ain't no it, expiration. It won't because you're going down it. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, it's that good. You finna down it, man. Shouts out to, to Stevens and uh, and Rudy. Stevens is the uh, the man behind the brand. He started it. And uh, they based out of Canada. Shouts out to Canada. Nula. You already know. It's those everywhere. But yeah, they... Uh, they they saw the, the the talent and it was like look man like my, my man CP my manager he looked it up and it was like look we want we want you to to climb with us right you know definitely I mean? like, we see you on the grind so so grind with us let's do it for the culture and I, as soon as I tasted I was like that's a no brainer. Yeah, man. Definitely, I'm, we gonna we gonna yeah, check it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're Sorry, but the other sixteen point seven, y'all gonna have to get y'all on. Okay, I can't get too many bottles. <laughs> all right, so listen, we all know you. We all know it's um, Sunday. Yeah, it's not Friday. It's not Friday. But you know what usually happens in fr- on Fridays in your world? I know what usually happens on Fridays. So why wouldn't we just ask yeah. for him to give us a freestyle? Because a lot of artifacts are here. Yeah. You just came from Subway. There's a whole lot that you can talk about yeah. Yeah. that we could probably get like a sweet 16 real quick. Yeah. No, nah, that's that's easy. I'll give it to you real quick. It won't be no pressure. Uh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Speaking of pressure, a couple minutes of those, I give you pressure. And now I ain't waiting a minute. Leave it to fresh. I really won't get too in depth on the collector, but that probably flew up over your head. Check your temperature. Niggas saying, Grimmy, you hot. But why the temperature? Niggas tying ropes, say you not. They get the temp in you. I done brought fire to unemployed and the pie in the leader charts. Thermal with stats, they go to temperature. Now I'm gashed up from premium down to regular. We done wet the bitch while I'm setting, sending the regulars. Normally a prayer suffices, but this is secular. I bathe with the salt at your face, Hannibal Lecker, you. Mine. See, see, listen. <laughs> see, that's a, see that. See, this is this is this is, this is this is crazy. So let me let me now we got now we got a nice little sweet sixteen out. Tell us, um, like where you see yourself in like the next five years. Next five, five years, years, um, my brand, the whole Grimhouse Records. I see it, a household name. You know what I mean? Like I see it, like me, like doing what Clef did. Mm-hmm. You understand me? Shouts out to Clef. That's big, bro. And um. My job is to take it from where he took it mm-hmm. and and continue to torch. Did you ever think about like going over to Haiti, like doing um, tours oh, over there? Man, let me like tell you that? something. 
it's it's to the point to where I mean my my Creole is pretty good. I give it by eighty percent. You right. know what I'm saying on the on the on the percentage of how I speak it. Mm -hmm. I'm getting these people from Haiti hitting me up mm -hmm. on YouTube and on on and through email and all kinds right. of social media platforms like yo, I'm waiting on you. Come to Haiti. Get right. it in. Right. And it's to the point to where a couple big names, uh Clan Lakai, shouts out to that. That's that's another uh uh, rum manufacturer that just kicked up by the Haiti not mm -hmm. too long ago. Like they got a show that they about to set up and they want me to headline it. So mm -hmm. Haiti, I'm coming soon, real soon. And there's a lot, there's a lot of big artists um, from down Florida. So that's um, Haitian also. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Shout mm -hmm. out to Zoe Dallas. Right. Shout out to Frank Castle. Um, I mean, hey, this is it's too many of y'all right now. But you know, we we down there, we thriving. Oh, shout out to. Uh, to, to the whole Zopal movement, you understand mm -hmm. me? Shouts out to the general, Red Eyes, you know what I mean? That's big bro. Free Mac is old, you already know how that go. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, and, and, and it's, and it's kind of, it's kind of, kind of, kind of good that you mentioned that because mm -hmm. it's, it's no better feeling than for you to get clearance or acceptance from those that, mm -hmm. that, uh, that were before you, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? That paved the road. So when, when when we was on the conference with Mac, when Red Eyes personally himself said, mm -hmm. I must I see you. Right. I approve. Right. Keep going. Right. Like that that just gave me the reassurance that okay, I'm doing what I'm doing and 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 it's nothing to have the blessings of the ones that were there before you, man. So I got them. Do you do you intend on like um putting any artists under you? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I got two artists under me right now. Carnage that uh that's on the record, he produced the beats. And uh, the real woke. That's another artist. That's his brother. He on there too. And they right here at your backyard in Atlanta. Right. You understand know I me? Mean? So trust me with 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 the exposure that I'm giving them. Y'all gonna be seeing a whole lot and hearing a whole lot from them. So um, them the two I got right now. But it's 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 more that I got that I got my eyes on. You understand me? It's just in, in due time. Is it is it is it any pressure on you to actually make it feel like? You have to you have to execute this plan to make sure that they have a foundation. Yeah, oh, oh, man. Yes, 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 yes. And I and I love it. I love it. I know the task that's at hand. I know the responsibility that that I have in my hands and I'm taking it full throttle. You know what I mean? I need to make sure that, that they get the platform to shine just like I'm shining. Mm -hmm. Even more. So yeah, it's accepted. What's your favorite song and why? My favorite song by you. By me. Mm -hmm. Uh it will have to be Getaway, a record I did featuring Freddie B. And, um, you know, I was... You look like you were about was, to cry about it. I was saying, hold on, that first Tell time. Me I, God didn't make me with tear ducts, you understand me? So I couldn't cry about it. You were about to cry about it. But nah, that record, it, 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 it spoke about my life. You know, sometimes when we when we go through it, it, it takes a toll on us. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I was hitting the bottom cool. That's Haitian rum. Mm -hmm. I plug y'all. Y'all better get me. <laughs> <laughs> so I was, I was, I was going through the bottle, and I was just reflecting on everything I've been through and what was going on at the time. And that's my favorite record because it, it gave me a way to to vent. Mm -hmm. So that would be my favorite record, and that's why. How how important is team to you? Team is everything. Everything. I'm nothing without the team. Mm -hmm. Enough and shouts out to the team. Excuse me. Shouts out to Dynasty Management. Shouts out to to Shy CP. Shouts out to Zoe Rankin, Eddie P. You know what I'm saying? The whole team. I'm, I'm nothing without them. They 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 give me inspiration. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. and and it and they do it because they know that I'm I'm somewhat of a, of a, a perfectionist. So if you come at me and be like, ah, you could have spit hard, and I'm looking at you crazy, like, what you mean? Because <laughs> like what I just gave you, right. you're not entertained. Mm -hmm. All right, give me, give me, give me a couple minutes. You know what I'm saying? So I, I come back that hard. I love it. I take the constructive criticism, man, and it's good because they keep me on my toes. You know what I mean? In life, we we need to be tested. All right. What does it take for you to actually in the studio for you to actually knock out a record? Like, what's your environment when you got when you going to Studio. What do you need? What do you have to have going? We need to listen. We need to. We don't need the PG because we don't hear about. Yeah, yeah, we, we need. We need what's going the, on. The crazy. The crazy thing is, is we it's, keep on it's, giving up everything. The way he's looking. At engineers like, hate me. I mean, like I always like to, to 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 get the beat, you know, beforehand, so that way I can take my time with it. 
and uh, and I could cook up something that'll that'll be you know worthy of of it touching your ears. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Because I still think in practice, I think I think we need to do that more. You know what I'm saying? Like we kind of strayed away from that. Ain't mm-hmm. no, there's no thought process in the making the music no more. Nowadays, you just sounds like you just get behind the goddamn mic and start saying some shit and mm-hmm. and just make it go with the beat. So, but uh, and on the, on the contrary, if I walk into the beat. If I walk into the session, you know what I'm saying, it, it moves me because because I write when I when I when I when I formulate these rhymes, they're going off the head. You mm-hmm. understand me? I process it like I zone out. Mm-hmm. Like the beat just hit me and it, it it takes over, and then I zone out and start formulating punchlines. And because the thing is, it's nothing that 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 you're hearing that hasn't been said before. Mm-hmm. It's only in a different manner in which it was said. Mm-hmm. Who, who do you actually listen to like now? That's now? Who I listen to? Uh who you don't listen to. <laughs> I listen I listen I listen to Ty. I listen to Ty Dollar Sign. That kid, kid my new favorite singer. Okay. I like I like his uh his approach. I like I like I like Ty a lot. I listen to uh who do I listen to on Fab? I listen to a lot. Sometimes shoot out. I'm still waiting on the next one. I listen okay. I listen to Fab when I'm when I'm doing it, uh Anything from Kenny, you know what I'm saying? What you ain't listening to? What I ain't listening to? Shit. Uh, I don't even want you to get to that. Because your whole team just was like, I don't even do it. Don't even do it. That's me going to listen to you. I just want to leave it at that. All right, before we get out there, tell everybody how you can follow me on your social media platform. Oh, yeah, you already know what it is. Get at me on the gram at G R I M A. S S on Twitter that's G R I M A S S M U Z I K and if that don't work open up Yahoo open up Google whatever search engine that you got and type in G R I M A S S I'm guaranteed to come up I'm the only Green Mouse out there any more shows any um, shows lined up yeah yeah we got a couple shows lined up we got Nine Mile Festival coming up in Miami shouts out to Rich and the whole Nine Mile movement. And uh, I'm about to uh, I'm about to go overseas for the first time. I'm going to Barcelona. Shh. Yeah, they are. That's, that's they where the money is. And they paying you, so yeah, they are going over there handsomely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, I'm about to go over there, Barcelona, Barcelona. If you looking, what's up? I'm about to tell you your country up in a minute. But yeah, we uh we got it lined up. We got it lined up. So I mean, God is amazing, man. I'm blessed right now. I can I can ask for more right now, man. Definitely. We appreciate you stopping by, big Always, Waffles, man. Hey, and if ain't nobody ever tell you doing your motherfucking thing, man. <laughs> man, I'm, try- I'm trying, If man. ain't nobody <laughs> told you, congratulations, I'm proud of you. I'm trying, bro. It's love, bro. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Always. Hip Hop Weekly, what's up? We're going to get.